Numbers and found Colorado has the third highest average number of daily cases of any state. And the number has gone up 42% over the past 14 days. Colorado researchers who are tracking the path of the pandemic say we've reached a point where they are not sure what the future looks like. Just yesterday, the state predicted we could see more than 2,200 people hospitalized with COVID by the first of the year. That would be the most the state's had during the pandemic. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas talked to those researchers at Colorado State University today. And Dylan, this recent spike in cases has predictors really stopped. Yes, yeah, statisticians here at Colorado State University have been working closely with the state throughout the pandemic, trying to forecast the trajectory of the COVID-19 pandemic. But after nearly two years of following those numbers and trying to forecast what's coming in the coming months, now they're just trying to figure out what's coming in the coming weeks. Cases here in Colorado are soaring and nobody has been able to pinpoint exactly why. I don't know that we'll ever really understand. What is causing this spike? At Colorado State University in Fort Collins, statisticians like Dr. Bailey Fosdick have been using computers to track the trajectory of the pandemic statewide. We do our best to give the most accurate projections that we can. But lately, that has become more difficult. Colorado has good vaccination rates compared to the national average, yet the state is becoming a hot spot for COVID, and experts can't pinpoint why. That is the big question right now, and, and in many cases, it's still a mystery. And forecasting the pandemic's trajectory is now harder than before, thanks to at-home rapid COVID tests. The um, appearance of at-home rapid tests really changed things. People no longer need to schedule something through UC Health or a hospital in order to have a quick test, which is great, but that may never end up in our state dashboards. Dr. Fosdick says a team of researchers from around Colorado are working hard to find answers, saying they have realized they cannot predict the future of the pandemic. They can only form projections of where they think it may be going. We're just trying to do our best to say what's needed in the next week. The takeaway message is that Things do not look good. And as individuals, we need to make our decisions, you know, based on that fact. The team of researchers have also considered whether or not the weather has anything to do with this. But when comparing Colorado's weather to other locations with a similar climate, the numbers aren't adding up. CSU is also analyzing cell phone data from out the state of Colorado to possibly see if maybe our gathering patterns have anything to do with this surge. Reporting live on the campus of Colorado State University, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.